What is going on everybody? It is a speed update bringing you another Black Ops League commentary gameplay of where I talk to you about you know a new topic every other day if it's not you know a vlog video day or an h1z1 gameplay or maybe a different pc game that's out there that's really good so today's topic will be about how much cod 4 the new release of call of duty means to me i mean it's yeah it's just a video game but as many people know people take video games to another level people connect through video games which is something that I used to do with my family when I was younger. I grew up as a, I guess you could say, a single child because my brother lived with my grandparents and I lived with my mother and, parent and my dad. So when I was young, I had an old, two older cousins that were at least 10 years older than me. So when I was like around eight, they were playing Call of Duty, they were playing all these games. So you really didn't care about playing online. So when, like, the time I started playing online was, was like around, I want to say, more than halfway through Modern Warfare 2, and I didn't really play World at War. So the way we would play is we would just get a map from COD 4, just, you know, the multiplayer, but just co-op, so split screen, and we would just play, play against each other. So we always really knew the maps, but we didn't know the competitive form of multiplayer maps so for the longest time we would just play against each other and another way we would play is we would play the campaign but as you remember you could do like when you would do a mission it would end like you actually saw an end of the road screen you wouldn't just continue like new games like games nowadays since it has changed for the better so when a game would end you would pause it real quick before the load screen would happen and just restart it and sometimes it would give you like a timer or a score or if you found something special and so, so for like the most part we would compete against each other and to see who could get through it the, the farthest and back in COD 4 while playing in like campaign there was no like no smart you know fake computer that if you ran by it would attack you it was like in those old old school games a robot would kill another robot and that's it and like it was very very scripted like the like if us if you killed a certain amount of enemies the road like your you know like if you have a little squad your platoon would not move forward unless you got past like a brick wall or unless you went past a point where they would just move on to an exception or an exception an exception they didn't really have their own thinking where if if you backstep they would backstep too so you can actually go back in missions go over to the beginning and just walk through and just you know find intel which is one of the big things in call of duty back in the day where you would find those computers that have information you know little easter eggs here and there and that's what made it really fun too i remember there was times where we would just run through the enemies and as soon as we got ready we would just hide in a corner you just wait for enemies to come up like yeah they would follow you but they would follow you look at you and then try to hit you but by then you would just you know you know pull out the melee or just shot them off so that was one of the funniest parts of call of duty and that's when i didn't really miss um online or because i didn't really know of online or how much fun it was you know moving forward towards Modern Warfare 2 when we actually started playing online we would just compete against each other. I remember it was TDM in Modern Warfare 2 where we would just sit on the living room and one the one controller so we would just go off like one game and each one was 10 minutes and it was three of us so my cousin Wesley and Mr. Travis and I would just go one round each just one you know 75 kills one whole game session and then at the end of it whoever got the highest score would play again so if, let's say Wesley was second in line and he was to win, he would go first and set the bar and then everybody else would go. So it was always a competition within ourselves and I remember like the craziest, like my highest score when I was playing Modern Warfare 2 like, with them was like an 18 kill streak, and we were like going ham like I remember my aunt was like flipping out in the 
in, in the kitchen down below. So, you know, just sh shut up, kids. It's just a stupid video game. Blah, blah, blah. And he was, like, really upset, but we were just, like, going off because he was, like, a little nine-year-old kid playing Call of Duty and just going ham, which, with them, they've never seen an 18 kill streak, and I have never actually been past, like, a five kill streak. But uh, it was just, after those points are done, flipping out and just hyping it up, that's what really made me fall in love with Call of Duty. And I say fall in love as in, no matter how bad the game looks, no matter what, I'm always a person that's going to go out and buy Call of Duty. Maybe in like 20 years, I'm still going to be playing Call of Duty. So, because of the bond that I had with my cousins, because of Call of Duty, and to this day, it's still really high. No matter, we're still like, you know, we have kids and we, they're way older. It's been like 10 years since then. But it's still... We still go out, we still play, like, I'll go to their house and their kids are playing Call of Duty. But the thing is, they're still playing Call of War, or they're playing World of War. So they still play those old school games that I have, you know, surpassed, I guess you could say. But they're still blurring it, and they're learning the bondage, and they're seeing how fun it is. I mean, yes, showing your, you know, young kids play video games is not the best, but it also teaches them a way to share like I learned how to you know have fun with my cousins while playing video games it's not you know, the, the best we didn't have that many neighbor friends like I can say we lived in a very secluded area of like I guess you'd say like where we lived was very old people because it's just like the neighborhood so there was no kids like, and like the nearest kids was like down the road, but their parents were really strict, and they could only play in front of their house, and there was no fun at their house, where all our clothes were at our house. So, I'm just getting off topic there. But, as we, like, now I play Call of Duty in a competitive mode, where I'm usually solo, you know, trying to go off, and, I don't know if you can tell, but as the months have gone, I've been progressing in my Call of Duty skill, like I am, like, I don't mean to be like flashy, but at least every game I'm getting a talent or I'm getting merciless or I'm getting at least three three of um you know bloodthirsties. And back when I was little I was just like barely even able to get three kills in a throw and I would be like super hyped. But now it's like a whole new level of like growing and understanding the game, understanding mechanicals and, and understanding new routes, which is what makes me fall in love with the the strategy and all the fun it is, especially with friends and all the fun you can have with random people and you can connect with random, random people through a game. I mean, it's crazy, but that's where the world we're going towards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the story of, you know, what made me fall in love with Call of Duty. I'm sure I've said one before, but it's just more in-depth. But, like always, keep on grinding. Be sure to hit that like, like button, like always. I'll see you guys later. Yeah.